Hello again, everybody. Time to do another little video for you. I'm going to do something a little different. We picked up a dump trailer, a 2013 dump trailer. It's all galvanized, and uh, I've been working on it for the last couple of days, doing a few modifications. As you just saw, the uh, custom emblems were done by my wife, and we got them uh, put in the chrome centers that we put on the uh, on the galvanized wheels. We installed some wooden planks up top to give it a little more capacity. And I made this uh, aluminum cover for the uh, tarp that's on it. I also installed D-rings inside. And uh, if you look back right here, you can see that the lights were kind of low on the trailer. So uh, what I did is I put a set of lights up top here. And they're uh, running lights and signal lights and brake lights as well. I also uh, put a, manufactured a uh, spare tire mount and installed on that as well. And along with a uh, shovel. I put a shovel on there with some uh, pretty nifty mounts. Pretty neat rig. And I'll get back and let you have another little look at it. And uh, it's a five ton uh, trailer. It's got a double acting tailgate. It's got the barn door type. And plus, you hit those levers there, and it'll swing open like a tailgate on a dump truck. And it's, uh, it's well built, very well built. You can see there underneath. I've got ramps built for it as well. And I'll show them to you now very shortly. And. Uh, it's built by N&N &N Trailers out of uh, Quebec, Canada, and uh, we picked up the uh, trailer from Atlantic Trailers in uh, in Mount Pearl, and uh, they pretty well got the, the best selection of trailers on the island, and uh, really good people to deal with as well. So we picked that up uh, a few days ago, and uh, it's been a long weekend for us, so we figured we'd sit back and, and do a few modifications on it before we actually used it. Uh, I'll let you see how it uh, how it goes up. Well, I'm going to show you the system here now. There you go. Now it's got a uh, breakaway system on it as well, right there. And I also put a battery tender on it, as you can see, right there. And there's your machine for a remote for putting up the, the trailer. And there's your main switch here. So I'll close this now and I'll let you see how it works. Let's see here now. Put her up. Instead of using hinges, I used baby shackles with some rubber in them, and uh, that way the rear flaps they pivot as the box is going up. As you can see, it's all galvanized, so it's pretty well maintenance free. It has brakes on all four wheels, which is uh, kind of nice. And, uh, I'll move back a little bit so you can see it. Let's see. There she is, so there should be no trouble to dump with that. It's also got an emergency system on it too that if you have a power failure you can still put down the dump. I'll show you that now. There's a little relief valve here. Sorry. 
here. You put that, and there you go. Dump's coming down. Or you can put it down manually. Which is this way. So it comes down on its own steam, which I think is great because it saves power in the battery. It's a little bit different of the dumping system, but I remember seeing lots of dump trucks in the past that had the same type of system, so it should be proven. It should work well. Yeah, let's take a walk in the shop now and I'll show you the ramps that I got made. The only thing I got to do is figure out where I'm going to store them. I think what I'll do is just, when I'm traveling, I'll have some way to have them fixed to the side here on each side. And uh, when I'm not using them, I just won't have them on the trailer. Some people put some on the fenders, but I'm not really fond of that, although it's, they're quite strong. But I don't think I'll do it that way. I think I'll either store them inside the trailer or leave them in the shed till I need them. Okay, let's see. There's the ramps there. One there. And there's one there. So I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to lay them up against the trailer, let you see how they look, and uh, see what uh, see what happens. Okay, here's the ramps. They're pretty strong. They're made out of a three-inch channel with uh, three-inch channel and a quarter-inch thick, and the angle iron is a one and a half-inch angle iron. So. Quite strong. So hopefully nothing will fall down through it, like myself. Anyway, that's the trailer. I thought it'd go good with the, uh, the BX or the 5740 for that matter. Here's another close-up of the emblem my wife made for me. There's clear coat over. So she did a good job with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just to let you know what I've been up to. And uh, maybe now in the next few weeks you might get to see the BX or the 5740 loading it. Until then, thanks for watching. If you got any comments, be sure to post them. Thanks for watching, guys.